Right now, K-pop, you could argue, is ruling the world. Now, it's time for you, K-pop. Welcome to YouTube's favorite K-pop show, DK News. David Kim. Today we have lots of lots of tea. tea. Today is my last episode. We have some happy news happy first. News. Danny is enlisting to the military. Yay! Yay. Big Bangs, Taeyang, and Daesung got discharged from the military. Yay! So we're changing places. <laughs> Goodbye, Chungsung. Yeah, uh, it's been fun. And Taeyang also hinted the possibility of Big Bang's comeback. Wow. So good news. Mm -hmm. Second, Blackpink becomes the first K-pop group in history to reach a billion views with do 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 do. And third, ten people related to the Purdue series are booked by the police Why and all the police? trainees involved will be <coughs> investigated and summoned as well to help the investigation. So, know. seems like the police are doing their job. Okay, Happy news! Their job. Happy news! And last but not least, MC Jeon Young Moo and KBS announcer Lee Hye-sung are reported to be dating. 15 years in difference. Uh, although people have mixed opinions about that age gap, it's still a thing to congratulate. Happy dating! I am you guy. And now on to the first news. First news. Okay, CL leaves YG Entertainment. Finally. YG Entertainment announced on November 11th that the company and CL have mutually agreed to end their contract with each other, uh, making CL a free agent now. YG Entertainment wished CL well on her future endeavors in the statement, but confusingly, uh, they followed up by deleting her YouTube channel and Facebook account, oh. as well as removing her profile on the YG Entertainment uh -oh. website immediately after they announced the departure of CL. Mm. Now, fans were outraged since YG Entertainment never really updates that fast mm. and, and deletes that fast uh, when, you know, their artists leave the company. Mm. And their past artists, a lot of them have uh, still, like, videos up on the YG account right. and stuff like that. So they were so fast. They were very fast to remove uh, any traces of CL from the company and it seems kinda shady. Mm. Her YouTube channel alone had about 800,000 subs, mm. so she lost a big asset that she could have possibly utilized. Mm. I guess it's under YG's uh, management, mm. so that's why they could have done that. Right. Um, but it's unclear whether or not CL requested the takedown of her profiles and channels or YG did that themselves. But regardless, people were using this opportunity to take a dump on YG Entertainment as they have not really been giving CL anything except for some half-assed attempts to get into the American market mm. like the song Lifted mm. and then he was supposedly doing something with Will I Am, was mm. it? Yeah, that was happening and people were like, okay, YG, you, you've done enough to shit on this girl and now you're doing this. But apparently the complaints seem to have worked since the YouTube page is back online, though I still can't find the Facebook page. Mm. Um, and of course, she's not on the YG Entertainment uh, artist page because mm. she's no longer a YG artist. Well, I understand why fans are mad. 21 actually literally made YG with, the, with Big Bang together. So like CL was the leader of 21. And I would be so disappointed as a fan too, like um, if YG was really behind this and they really hated CL enough to uh, like actually immediately dis delete her account. But I don't think that's the case because like they recover their account right now. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, usually yeah. there are glitches among YouTube, like, you know, like channels uh, get restored. Can tell. If it's just YouTube, then that could explain, like, mm. it might have been just a glitch that yeah. happened on the perfect timing. Yeah. But her no, no, Facebook I... page, as well as her artist page, all got deleted simultaneously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I understand about the artist page because, like, like she's not, she's not on YG, yeah, 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 so, yeah. like, there's nothing to say about that. I, other yeah, than the fact that the update was very fast. Right. Result-wise, it's restored now so right, CEO, right, I right. bet she can have full access to that like even right. if they go on a legal you know dispute dispute like this artist was with you for 10 years man yeah. come on I mean yeah who cares about Facebook these days but YouTube it's like a crucial portfolio and right. also like a platform for yourself right so CEO, I don't think she would try to give up that either so okay. good luck with your future endeavors I'm gonna see I I'm gonna guess 21 come back next year Next year. Oh, Do you have members? Popbom's active. CEO's right. free I, now. I don't know what Minzy is doing. Tara's still in it. YG. Yeah, Tara's still in YG, but I think I can see them c coming back even with Tara and YG and them in different companies really? next year. Yeah. Next, next news. news. Simon Cowell's UK pop 
enrages K-pop fans. Can you can you announce this in the UK accent? Last week, world famous music guru Simon Cowell. Fuck this. Go on. Go on. <laughs> no, go on, no, go I, on. I can't do this. Go on. This Last is all about week. the UK. Ah, hey, 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 Okay. Oh, let me calm myself. Like, imagine yourself as Simon Cowell. You're at that seat. Okay. You know, Britain's got talent. I'm sorry, British people. Mm. Bear with me here. Mm. Last week, world famous music guru Simon Cowell spoke on a quick promotional clip <laughs> for his upcoming show, X Factor, the band that is as follows. You may have already heard about this, but if you haven't, we are launching X Factor, the band this December. We have weeks to get this together. Very simply, we're going to try and find either the biggest boy group in the world or the biggest girl group in the world. And you've got days to enter. We've done it before, we're going to do it again. Right now, K-pop, you could argue, is ruling the world. Now, it's time for you K-pop. Now, no one in Korea cared or even heard about this news, uh, but international fans found the time and energy to be offended for us, mm. and they were calling Simon Cowell's comment imperialistic. Wow. Now, our friend Jeff Benjamin, you spoke to him mm. a few times, mm. right? Wrote in a tweet that Simon Cowell has an imperialistic tone to his message, Oof. and apparently this tweet got 1,600 Oof. RTs and 7,800 likes. Okay, I don't know if I can <laughs> agree on that, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Jeff. Okay. And people were also making and retweeting thousands of memes of how K-pop is superior. Yeah, people were mad that they were using the UK pop uh, term because okay. apparently K-pop's trademark now before any one of us realized uh -huh. it. And people are saying, oh, they're colonizing K-pop, blah, blah, blah. They're profiting off of K-pop. Everybody was mad. And I want to hear your thoughts on whether or not UK pop is imperialistic. <laughs> so everyone has their own opinions. I respect that. Um, people can have a lot of perspectives. But personally, as a Korean myself, I didn't really get offended by his comment. It was just like one comment. He was trying to be like, I don't know, witty in some kind of like, way. Yeah, like yeah, his like own way. It's like it's like K-pop. Now put that you back into exactly. that K-pop. Exactly. So he was trying to be in that way. Yeah. And I didn't see, I didn't really see the intention of being imperialistic. Maybe some people might <laughs> think he is inside just because he's a white guy from britain I you mean, guys think he's imperialistic i think he truly does have the ambition of like making a group that's going to rule the world right. and especially over k-pop because yeah, he yeah, compared yeah. it directly yeah. to k-pop as a career myself actually i was quite amused and quite actually flattered. proud i was at flattered. the same time because like oh simon cole <laughs> actually knows k-pop and he's actually making it as a reference to right. like make his own group and he's like comparing it and he's setting that as the standard to make like a good group but at the same time i do have to admit i was amused because you know Give it your best. No I mean, offense on UK hey, people. Hey. If you have the dedication to train more than 10 years, wasting all your youth in a training room, not dating anybody, and not receiving any it profit. Be a little bit extreme. I don't want to say like, oh, you guys don't train for 10 years, blah, 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 blah. Because you know what? Like a lot of these musicians, they do that themselves without the help of companies. And I think we have to respect that. And like, I see a lot of cringy ass reactions on k-pop twitter mm. i mean k-pop twitter is not the best place to go but honestly like these these people like calling out oh you british people you white people are all untalented look at you dancing and they post like clips of x factor uh participants dancing and shit and and like some of them are terrible but i think people are forgetting that there are people that are working hard there too Right, right, right? Right, right, like the Beatles, for example, they essentially got the K-pop training before there were e there was even a K-pop training. They were performing in fucking clubs for ten hours per day for like five years, four years all together as a band, and that's how they got to the level of, where they were successful. And like Billie Eilish, all she did was freaking go like she she got homeschooled because she all she wanted to do was 
music at okay, all. Okay, I, 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 no, I'm just saying like people are belittling other musicians' yeah, efforts yeah, and other that. people's efforts, saying like, oh, only K-pop artists do this. I think it's a little childish to like belittle. Oh, like you get, you get, look, you guys can have all this like crappy shit. Yeah, of course, and I think it's setting a bad reputation for <coughs> K-pop. Like you know, like in the mainstream world, K-pop has a long way to go, and it's still stigmatized as like a subculture or something for like you know non-mainstream people. people. And if you give this kind of reaction towards a person who simply did a quote, like simply said a comment about K-pop, just like the literal words inside one sentence, and everyone's right. overreacting and sending all this malicious comparisons and hate over Twitter. And stuff like that. I think it's gonna give even more reinforcement of that negative image in K-pop. Right. So like, just, just you know, just try to be respectful. And like, chill. Yeah. Whether it's better than K-pop or not, we'll see. I we'll see. But I, I do understand why they're triggered because he he was a little bit quite ambitious. And, and also, knowing Simon Cowell and like what kind of genius this guy is, you know, like he knows the industry very well. He probably expected this reaction too. Like, you guys are acting yeah, yeah, the exact he, way yeah, yeah, yeah. he wanted you guys He's to. He's the guy who <laughs> intentionally, like, touches the, triggers the beehive. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, like, you guys got played, man. You guys got and played. And it's trending. So, right. so everybody's gonna job, watch Simon. it. Everybody's gonna watch it. Yeah, everybody's gonna watch. Like, oh, let's see what you can do. On to the next, next news. news. Blackpink wins three awards at the USA's E! People's Choice Awards, but some people aren't happy oh, about it. Oh no, why Some now? people aren't happy about it. People are never happy. Okay. Congratulations to Blackpink, first of all, for the billion views right. and the People's Choice Awards. The E! People's Choice Awards is an, like is an American awards show that has a 45-year-old history <coughs> that goes back to the 1975 era, which recognizes people in entertainment such as like TV, uh, music, and movies. And it's voted by the general public and fans mostly. Blackpink was nominated in three categories, the group of 2019, music video of 2019, concert tour of 2019. They actually won all three categories, wow. achieving three awards. What? Wow, did you see my bag? Oof. This is an achievement that Blackpink has made only in nine months since entering the US market, which makes the success even more glamorous and shocking. And no K-pop girl group in history has made this kind of impact in such a short time. That's true. Yeah. So now people are paying attention to what the girl group Blackpink's next move will be. More like when it will be. Probably like 2021. <laughs> So in the meantime, the competitors for the awards included Five Seconds of Summer, BTS, CNCO, Imagine Dragons, Jonas Brothers, Panic at the Disco, The Chainsmokers, so many big names there, and Ariana Grande, Seven Rings, Billie Eilish, that guy. Ooh, BTS, Boy With Love, Daddy Yankee, Konkama. <laughs> Sam Smith Dancing with a Stranger And Taylor Swift Me Shawn Mendes, Camila Cabello Senorita Wow, those songs are like all bangers uh, And Blackpink's Kill This Love won yeah. that award <coughs> mm -hmm. And lastly, Concert Tour of 2019 Again, Ariana Grande, BTS Sure Jennifer Lopez Just Justin Timberlake Wow, the dude's uh, like 50 Okay, Lady Gaga and Pink She's also 50 Okay <laughs> The point is Blackpink uh, competed with all those like big you know big names and they won eventually right, like right, super right. congrats and I got I found something very interesting uh, like among the awards there was Social Star of 2019 uh, was there DKDK TV well let's see Emma Chamberlain uh, uh, the Dolan Twins David Dobrik who uh, was the winner Ricky Thompson the Ace Family Shane Dawson uh, uh, Liza Koshi and Tana Mongua Shane but, Dawson should win. I don't know. Don't you think it's kind of rigged because DKDK TV isn't in the nominees? All right. I was going to say that too. So, Social Star of 2019 went to David Dobre. Congratulations, David, a fellow David out there. Good a lot job. of Davids are talented. Whatever. But I cannot approve. I cannot accept that result. And I think it's rigged. There should have been DKDK yeah. TV in there. We'll least. go next year. Yeah. But speaking of rigged. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I thought Produce 101 was the only thing great. Mm, but <laughs> although it's a big win and news worth of congratulation towards uh, Blackpink, uh, some BTS ARMY fans weren't that happy oh, no. and Twitter got wild yesterday oh, after no. the results came out and ARMYs did not see BTS as a winner in any of the categories uh, BTS no. was nominated in. ARMY started retweeting tweets of 
data that accordingly showed that BTS had a landslide win in votes or touring. And thus, people couldn't accept that Blackpink took all three of the awards. And some fans went to the extent of calling the awards show rigged and demanded an explanation for the results. <coughs> Now the agenda has switched into armies focusing on the upcoming lineup of other award shows in the future where BTS and Blackpink will be competing uh, again. So it's a fan war now. Mm, yeah, kind of escalated uh, into fan war. Okay. Let's just make it clear that we do not want to take yeah, any side on I'm this, nor do we want to make any kind of fan war. You, so, guys, you guys do you. Yeah, so uh, please don't whatever. fight. Uh, Danny... They're, they're gonna fight. But yeah. still, we did our share. <laughs> oh, okay, please okay, don't man. fight. Shut Just up, because people. Danny's in a military army suit, right. it doesn't mean I'm he's not, an army. I'm not an army. We sometimes become blinks, we sometimes become armies right. and VIPs. Yeah, we're not by ourselves, but yeah. by, by you, you guys. You guys tell us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're like chameleons, <laughs> according to you guys yeah, anymore. I'm a snake. But I love all the groups right. anyways don't fight congratulations to blackpink again and what do you think about this whole you know the awards and the whole tea that's going on on twitter i, I did see the tea on twitter yeah i honestly don't know what to make of it because the vote count that the bts armies were mm. using first of all i did not know i don't know how legitimate the screenshots are mm. um i don't know the sources i don't know the dates second i saw the screenshots and they were labeled uh these are vote results on twitter only which means that apparently maybe they have other sources where they, you, you could submit a vote mm -hmm. and, and the difference between blackpink and bts were really really big mm -hmm. it was like 20 plus mm -hmm. million so if, if that's the difference then there wouldn't be like a flipping of rankings mm -hmm. in other votes who knows so that's your opinion so you my opinion is i don't no. So, let's make it clear. We're not trying to make any fan wars again. You know what it feels like? You're Lionel Messi. You're like Cristiano Ronaldo. And then like this some random ass magazine opens like a best footballer of the year award. And it's either between you or Messi and you're Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi gets it. And it's fan voted. But like, are you, if you're Cristiano Ronaldo, are you gonna fucking care? about this random ass like a uh, newspaper in korea like naming messy over you fans put a lot of investment and a lot of effort into it and yeah. they want their artists to get that worthy recognition they yeah. put their time into yeah, and yeah, yeah. if their efforts get yeah. neglected then yeah. they have a reason to be pissed yeah. to state my opinion i also understand the army's viewpoint because something does feel odd to me mm -hmm. and as much as i like blackpink go watch my reactions to be honest, even for me, it came as a shock seeing that Blackpink won all three of them. I can understand the best music video because they got like a billion views recently, but not really sure about the concert tour and best group. Like there can be like, you know, debates about that. I mean, they, they screen capped it real time on the site and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm sure they have like ground on it. But despite everything, it is a fact that the two groups both did tours in the US and appeared on various TV shows and were played on the radio. The fact is that both groups do deserve awards. In my opinion, the right thing to do would be demanding the award show, who is the host, to reveal the results or their criteria on how they selected the winner, rather than like saying insults to each other. Like, oh, your group is like that, or your group is so I, hypocritical. I mean, it's not the bl even if it was rigged, it's not the blinks that rigged it, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's not them that. Rigged I mean, it. like all those you know conspiracies I mean? about YG, it's getting blown out of proportion. Yeah. So, a BTS, UNICEF, who like you guys always preach about like having the moral. High High ground and you know loving yourself and being respectful to each other and now look at yourself you're trying to like drag other people's success down and you know just thinking about yourself and like these kind of things oh i'm just getting cancer from hearing this shit yeah this is all like cancer itself turn off your fucking phones turn off your fucking computers go outside play with the ball okay get a ball take yep. it outside call some bros and sisters play with that goddamn ball anyways go skiing or something anyways both groups are amazing oh both shut the are... up why are you still watching both this groups shit? are amazing why are you watching I my love video both groups they all Get the out. Is... kids go out get outside is Lionel messi better or ronaldo better? i don't care they're both good right exactly that's what i was saying oh, okay good job <laughs>
<laughs> Please don't fight, guys. Um, oh congratulations to Blackpink again, and congratulations to BTS with the, all the upcoming awards they will they will sweep inside their bags. And this was DKDK TV before Danny opens his mouth furthermore. I wish the and internet was Subscribe gone. to our Patreon.com slash DKDK TV for more exclusive content like Danny's podcast. <laughs> oh. Maybe he might do a rant about this in his podcast, and I have exclusive it's reactions, so outside. check it out. And uh, we have a Christmas card coming for you guys who have been subscribed for Christmas. six months. Get out! Get Shut the f up!